I've set up my color schemes in my sketchbook and I've pretty much got it down to five or six colors. And so I know that I've got this full palette here that I can use, but I really don't want to use all of them. I've even thought about how I'm going to mix different colors so that I don't have to spend all my time just experimenting with the paints. So what I'm going to do first is actually take the dark colors on the uh, design and I'm going to paint those in first. So I'm going to start with the dark green and the brown. So I'll just take that and I will um, put those into those places here. And I'm actually going to get a little bit of water on the brush too so that it will just kind of slip into those cracks. So we're not actually using watercolor paints, but it would help to get these kind of into their places here. So I'm going to do a little bit of this here. All right, and then I'm going to rinse my brush off in the water, wipe on this paper towel here, and then go in with the brown. So it looks really sloppy at first, but now I'm going to come in with my other color on top of that. So I'm going to do a little bit of mixing. And you always want to start with your lightest color first. So I'm going to take this knife and I'm going to put some yellow in here. So like two dips, and let's do three. I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. And I think I want just one dip of the white. And in between colors, I've just taken that paper towel and wiped my brush off. So I'm going to lay that in there, wipe my, or wipe my knife off. And then I'm going to do just one drip of the green. And I mix that in. And that looks a little dark to me. So I'm going to wipe this again and just put a little more white in there. And that's a little more what I want. That way you don't spend all of your paintbrush, uh, you don't use the bristles of your brush and get it all over this. So now I can take this paintbrush and come in and go on top of those areas. with the shadows have been already put in underneath. Let's see right here on top, that's looking really nice where I have that dark green underneath. I may want to come back in now that it's on there a little bit and just add just a, a little bit of brown just in that area because I want that to be a little bit darker. But for the most part, this is how I want it to be.